Uh, my name's Erica. I have a small acreage in Terrelgan and I run stud beef, breeding and showing Highland cattle. Day to day is just checking the cattle. Uh, it gets a bit busy around show season. So when the show periods are on, it's a little bit more busy. We have to hold a train and prep them for the show. But um, just generally, it's just feeding and making sure everything's okay. Biosecurity is such an important thing for myself, for my animals, for the industry as a whole. Uh, I need to consider the health and well-being of my animals. Um, if we ended up with an outbreak of some sort, they would be impacted. Uh, the industry, I think as a whole, would be devastated by something major. And from a personal perspective, our little farm probably wouldn't recover from something like that. My biggest risk for biosecurity comes from probably a couple of places. Showing brings in an element of risk. Uh, we are obviously taking our animals off farm to somewhere else and interacting them with another. So we do as much as we can to you know, minimise exposure there. And then within the farm, it's considering the risks that might come from you know, neighbouring properties. Um, my dam is actually filled from neighbouring properties. So in the event of when we've got heavy rain and the water's coming in, I need to consider where that's coming from, what the quality is going to do and how the animals can access it. So when I was creating my biosecurity plan, Agriculture Victoria have a great website that allows us to have some templates. Um, I use the LPA Integrity Systems template for mine. Um, it's a template. You can go through, it prompts you with the questions that you need to know. You don't have to think about the questions yourself. It, the prompts are there. If you don't already have a biosecurity plan and you're feeling overwhelmed by it, don't be. Jump on the website, get a template, start small. The smallest step that you can take right now is one step towards a better biosecurity future for everyone. Authorised by Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.